God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible tells those that are saved, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the Scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God is that he tells Christians to go out and preach. Go out door knocking. He tells people that are saved. They need to know. They need to hear. And in the churches of today, they're not going to get that. They're not going to get the true gospel. They're going to get a short sound gospel. They're going to get a bloodless gospel. They're going to get a fruity, tooty, kind of wishy-washy gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Salvation is nothing what you can do. Salvation has already been wrought by what Jesus Christ has done. Rachel, keep an eye on this, that seafood chunk. Make sure they, they start heading over here and just move. The Bible says not of works. It's nothing that works that men can do to get to heaven. And if you were asked, how am I, I going to know to get to heaven? How do I get to heaven? The only answer is Jesus Christ. It's not membership, it's not what you can do, it's not what you have done, it's not what anybody can do but Jesus Christ, the righteous. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the way of salvation. The wonderful news, the good news, and gospel means good news, good tidings, glad tidings. The good news is there is an invitation into heaven right now. The king has sent out his men, go in the byways, go in the highways, go in the bushes, go everywhere you can and preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures go out there and tell them that have them come have them believe let them know that Jesus is the way the truth and the life that no man has any access to God except by me and if when we do go out and we do preach, the Bible already says about people will be scorners. People will mock. People will hate you. That's okay because you don't hate me. You hate the gospel being preached. You hate the one that the gospel is about, Jesus Christ, and you have no regard for God. You cannot have the love of God in your heart and hate Jesus and reject Jesus. Because that's the means of God. Jesus is God and God is Jesus. So you can't love one half of God and hate the other half of God. There's no half God. And the fact is, salvation is not what your happy little life can do. It's the miserable sufferings of Christ upon Calvary's cross that he suffered and died. According to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again according to the scriptures. Now you may say, I let my light shine for the people around. That's not scripture. Scripture is that the disciples and Jesus himself and the apostles went out and preached to the people where they were. 
There is no preaching inside of a church building. The preaching was done out in the open, open air. We're here at Daytona Beach, Florida, where Jesus at one time stepped into a boat, sat down, and preached to the people at the beach. And the message that he brought is that Jesus saved. He is the one. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And you dare say, well, I'm going to come to you, God, in religion. Jesus said, no. Paul the Apostle said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And then when you come to him, when you put your faith and trust in him, salvation is available by God through God. Not man, not religion. It's the suffering Messiah that is of Judah. And the fact is, if you will come to God, if you will come to God, not by God, Jesus Christ, you won't go to heaven. You'll go to hell. You'll go to hell. Good does not get you to heaven. Hell is full of good people. As much as hell is filled with wicked people. In the eyes of God, there is none righteous, no, not one, but Jesus Christ. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and yet... Christ, the sinless one, the one that is God and of God, is able to save your soul where what you can do cannot do. And if you think that, oh, look what I can do, God, you deceived yourself. Again, it's not what we can do. It's what Jesus Christ has already done. And he has already Gave God the full sacrifice that pleased God at the upon Calvary's cross. Entrance into heaven is only by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. That's it. When the Bible says, going all the world and preach the gospel, that gospel message is Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures that's it there's no santa claus there's no easter bunny there's no flowery hats there's no brand new dresses there's no how great the preacher is how great our church is there's no water there's only by the blood of jesus christ are you able to be saved And if you think you can put your goodness to God's goodness, when you stand before Jesus Christ one day, you'll find that Jesus Christ is much better than you are. You'll find out that Jesus Christ is holier than you are. You'll find out that you are a sinner and Jesus Christ is sinless. You will find that Jesus Christ will say to you, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Don't forget to come back next week. Can you imagine God telling you to go to hell when you think you're good enough? And yet the good and righteous Holy One, Jesus Christ, said, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You got to know Jesus to go to heaven. You got to know Jesus to be saved. And you're not going to know him inside of a church building. You're not going to know him in water. And you're not going to know him by doing good things. Again, the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. So you're going to approach God when his scriptures say there is none good. God, look how good I am. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that you think you can defy the scripture. And when you say, oh, I'm good enough, you defy the scripture. The only good one is Jesus Christ. The only righteous one is Jesus Christ. The only holy one is Jesus Christ. 
And the only one that can save your soul is Jesus Christ. Okay. That's it. Keep on going with your religion. You will end up in hell with other people with religion. Keep on thinking you're good. You'll be in hell with other good people. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's it. No balloons, no prizes, no music, no hallelujahs, no jumping up and down, no offering play, no. Jesus Christ alone is able to save and no other. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Listen, we've turned the birth of Jesus into another God called Santa Claus. There is no Santa Claus, but there is Jesus Christ. We have turned the resurrection of Jesus Christ into a bunny. There is no Easter bunny. There is Jesus Christ. There is the lamb that was born in a manger that was wrapped in swaddling clothes, and there was the man, God, the sinless, perfected of all perfection, that suffered and died upon that cross, according to the scriptures, and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That settles it. The wages of sin is death. You will die. Why will you die? Ever ask yourself? Why do we die? The wages of sin is death. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Christ, sinless, died with our sins. Sins caused the death of Jesus, though he was not a sinner. He died because we were sinners and are sinners. I will die one day because I am a sinner. Born of Adam. Less the rapture, but humans die because humans die because they're sinners. Sinners cannot stand in the presence of God. God says, "Be holy, for I am holy." Right now, without Jesus Christ, without the testimony, without the price of Jesus Christ, you're not holy, and you will not stand in His presence. But look at my works. I already told you, your works ain't going to do nothing for you. What send you into hell? You don't want to go to hell? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Repent! It's turn or burn, the old-fashioned words. I've been in love with a beautiful wife for 40 years now, but about year 15, things didn't go so And anyway, this song is called Carry Me Back. People have accused us of, you don't have enough love. Our love is that you don't go to hell. Our love is to tell you how not to go to hell. Our love is proclaiming the love of God. For every verse I open up with, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The love of God is Jesus Christ. And the love of God is go preach Jesus Christ. Go preach his gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You in the earshot of hearing my voice, if you do not ever put your faith upon Jesus, you will go to hell don't want to go to hell, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's it. That's absolutely it. It's the work of God, not the work of man. God is not willing that any should perish. God is not willing to cast you into hell, but that's your own choice. Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. 
When you end up in hell, it's your choice, not God. Because God sent the loud mouth, arrogant preacher to say, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Well, actually, uh. Most will say to me, Preacher, you need more love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's love. That's love when God has left his throne. And God was born in this miserable planet. And God, who's sinless and righteous, and holy, suffered and died according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Because we are the sinners. Christ suffered because of us. And God says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scripture. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So don't you dare come to God with religion. Religion don't save you. It condemns you. It deceives you. Don't dare come to God and say, well, look how good I am. The Bible says there is none that do it good. No, not one. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. We're all going to die one day. It may be today. We don't know. Death is because we are sinners. And the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And if you are still a sinner, if you are an unpurchased sinner by the blood of Jesus Christ, you will die and end up in hell for all eternity. And hell is full of Baptists, hell is full of Catholics, hell is full of Presbyterians, hell is full of atheists. Hell is not full of born-again, Bible-believing Christians who have trusted on the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to save their souls. God says, be holy, for I am holy. We are unholy. We are unrighteous. We are sinners. Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. It's that simple. In order to get to heaven, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. In order to get to hell, do whatever you want to do. Just reject Jesus Christ and you will go to hell. Now we're here that you may not go to hell. We're here that you may be able to know how to put your faith, your belief, your all in all upon Jesus Christ. But rest assured by the preaching that you hear at the farmer's market. You are not okay. You are not safe. And you're not going to heaven in your sinful condition. And that sinful condition is called works, called church, called whatever you want to call it, outside the finished work of Jesus Christ. And all those things, that people think they can do to please God. Jesus Christ will cry out the words to you. 
depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And those are harsh words for people who are dedicated to their religion. And yet, Jesus Christ the Holy, Jesus Christ God, has set forth the standard by God to be that Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Nothing's going to remove your sin but the blood of Jesus. No religion is safe in the eyes of God, the holy, righteous Jehovah God. Hell is full of Catholics. Hell is full of Baptists. Hell is full of good working people. Hell does not have born again Bible believing Christians washed in the blood. You will not find in hell those that are washed in the blood. You will find people of religion, you'll find people without religion. But you will not find those who have been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. God's satisfaction is Jesus Christ. It pleased God to abuse and to be and to have Jesus Christ tortured and suffer for sins of man upon that cross. Jesus Christ was the offering of sin. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I said, Jesus Christ, the name above all names. There is no name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. It ain't Allah. It ain't Pope. It ain't Buddha. It ain't any of those names, but the name above all names is Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt be saved. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John says, he that has the Son, Jesus Christ, has everlasting life. He that has not the Son, Jesus Christ, shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him and the wrath of God is hell. All is not well. There is a hell. And if your preacher don't preach hell, get out of that church. If your preacher don't preach the blood of Jesus Christ, get out of that church. You got Satan in the pulpit. Satan doesn't preach about hell because he's going there. Satan doesn't preach about the blood because the blood gets you out of hell. You dare call my church of Satan? Paul did. In the letter to the Corinthians, no marvel for Satan himself is transformed as an angel of light, and no matter that if his ministers, his ministers, Satan's ministers, Satan ministers, and Satan doesn't want you saved. But Satan would believe a guy that stands out on a Saturday yelling and screaming at you, Bible and all that, oh, he's the one that's, that's weird, he's crazy, he wishes he'd shut up, but yet he's preaching away the truth and the light. And you'll find out one day that the preaching of, of the Bible, the preaching of the gospel, the preaching of the blood of Jesus Christ, if you're to put your faith and trust on it, that's what gets you to heaven. Anything else gets you into hell. It's plain and simple. You cannot do anything to save your soul. You can't do anything to make God happy to go to heaven. Now, God's not willing that any should perish, but God has set forth a standard. That standard is Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way. There's no other way. He didn't say a way. He said the way. He is the truth. And John 8, 44 says, the devil, Satan, he's the father of lies. He is the liar. So he can't save you. And Jesus said, I am the life. 
You want eternal life? You want to go to heaven? You want no more pain, no more sorrow? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You want not to go to hell? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Hell is forever. And hell is only attained by all those that reject Jesus Christ. Be a good Catholic, you'll end up in hell. Belong to a Baptist church, you'll go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. Oh, my church has got scriptures. You may have unholy scriptures. Your Bible may erase the blood of Jesus Christ. Your Bible may even take out the name of Jesus Christ. It's called a modern Bible. The Bible that is the Bible, the Word of God, is the King James Version. Anything else is garbage. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because I personally have received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. April 21st, 1987, I became saved. I came out of the Catholic religion and I got saved. I got born again. I became into the family of God through Jesus Christ alone. No candles, no rosaries, no Mary, Jesus Christ. The blessed hope. You know what Mary would tell you to do? Whatever my son saith, do it. That's what Mary said. John chapter 4. And I believe that's the last words of Mary. In the Bible. People, life can change in one second. The rapture may happen any second. Your life will change if you don't go. And you're not going to go if you're not saved. Now, if you think Donald Trump or Obama were bad, whichever, you wait till the Antichrist takes over. Or, in one second, one thing could happen in your body, you can end up in the hospital for the rest of your life. And not have your mind anymore. Or you can hear the preaching of the gospel and die right now without receiving Christ and end up in a place called hell like we preach, and you ought not to. It'd be a sorry event for you to die to go to hell when you've heard that Jesus saves. And don't think you're going to walk up to God and say, God, I never knew. Oh, yes, you did. You heard that loud mouth. You hated that loud mouth preach. You hated my son. And he preached about my son. He preached about the gospel of my son. He preached about heaven. He preached about hell. You heard him. And you rejected my son. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Forever. Thy word is settled in heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Heaven or hell awaits you. And you're not going to heaven unless you have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You may think you're going to heaven because you're good. You may think you're going to heaven because you're church. You may think you're going to heaven by what you've done. You're going to hell. You've been deceived. 
go straight to hell, don't pass go, and you sure ain't getting no money. But the card, the card that said, in order to get out of hell, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Your choice in Christ is the eternal effect of happiness, joy, peace, a brand new body without sin. And your rejection of Jesus Christ will get you pain, suffering, agony, torment, forever. There's no relief in hell. But there's great relief in heaven through Jesus Christ. The great relief of Jesus is he'll give you a sinless body. He'll give you a brand new body. How's your body doing today? Are you in pain? Are you suffering? Have you been an outcast? Christ will take you. And then when you believe on him, he'll take you to heaven and he'll give you a brand new body. No more sorrow, no more tears, no more agony, no more saying goodbye, no more problems. Through Jesus Christ. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. And you cannot say you love God and reject Jesus. It's impossible. Because God is Jesus. And Jesus is God. How can you love one and reject the other? You can't. Unless you're a Jehovah Witness. Well, that's a lie. There's one thing that's sure that the Bible says. The Bible says that Jesus is God. And God is Jesus. The same God, the same Jesus is able to save your soul. I got a great tip for you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And that won't cost you anything. Salvation's free. Notice there's no tip jar over here. God ain't going to charge you for salvation. And neither will we. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Eternity is coming for all of us. Just don't know when. And once we die, the Bible does speak about an afterlife. It's heaven by Jesus Christ and it's hell by anything and everything. You don't have to do anything to go to hell. Just reject Jesus Christ. Keep on saying, preachers, shut up. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear about that Jesus. And don't be surprised when you end up in hell. Don't be surprised if you reject the message of the gospel that Jesus himself will tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Now notice when he says, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, you are still in your sin. Now when a saved man dies and goes to glory, well done, thou good and faithful servant. There's no iniquity. There's no sin. 
Because you've been washed in the blood. No washing, no salvation, no blood, no heaven. It's that simple. Thank you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.